Hi guys, I know I look crazy, crazy hair today. We are going to pick our fireplace out today. I am super excited. I know not an awful lot of people are big into open fires, but we really wanted one in the house. Done an awful lot of research into trying to find a fire that we really, really, really like. We have found this place. It's called O'Rourke's and it's in Glasson. So we are going to drive there today. Like there is tons of places, but this one came really highly recommended. I'm really excited to pick out our fire. So let's go. Oh, we're just after picking our fireplace and our surround and everything. It was very, they're lovely in there. It's really, it's all black. It's all black, except for the surround is going to be white, M like polished marble. We were going to go for white stone. stone, and they were like, Are you crazy? You're putting in a real fire with white stone. It'll just be manky. Yellow. You'll have a nightmare trying to keep it clean and keep it white. We're very, very happy with our purchase. I think it's going to look good. lovely. Aren't you really? happy no we did well we did well we did well they're very very accommodating as well i will say that because i obviously had well i i say i but it's we, no, we had cast iron yeah we wanted cast iron horseshoe and i wanted like black great and everything just to be black other than the surround because we just wanted to keep it really clean uniform very simplistic and i just love ah oh, I song. love this song, Sam Fender. Love him. Anyway, so we're just, we're really, really, really happy. And we have it all paid in full. When it is installed, it will show you guys, because then I'll show you like the sitting room and, and a whole, um, or as a whole. But it's very exciting that things are like coming together now and the floors are getting done this week as well. All our electricity bits are done and our kitchen fitting will be in five weeks from now. Five, six weeks. Yeah, it's like five or six weeks from now, which is crazy. So there's just so much going on this month. It's very busy, but in the best way possible. But I highly recommend if you are looking for a fire, whether you're looking for a stove or an electric fire or pellet stoves, the guys in O'Rourke's are like they are masters of the craft. We've had we've had a bit of a drive through like because all the roads all the roads are all closed and everything. It was a bit of a mare to try and get here, yeah. and it feels like you're driving forever because the roads are not great yeah, but it was worth it and Glasson's a lovely little place actually we should have went up to the golf course to show you the golf course I think that's the only time I've ever been in Glasson I went for lunch on the golf course and it was really nice oh, we'll do it next week We'll do it another time. Well, we won't be doing it next weekend. We won't be coming back to glasses. If you guys remember what the fireplace used to look like, it was just not what we were, like not our cup of tea. I'm very excited for it all. Fire is here. Oh my gosh. And the reveal of the fireplace. All put in. Oh my God, is it not the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? We have the grate here to go into the fire. Once everything is dried inside, uh, we can then put the grate in and I'm gonna get the chimney clean this week. The guys in O'Rourke's did an absolutely amazing job. I just, ugh, it's already making the room and I just can't wait to like paint and everything. It's gonna look so amazing. Go on, Noah. No, not up the stairs. This is all the underlay. Because our kitchen is done. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so happy. You know what? It looks absolutely incredible. Obviously the skirting is not fully done, but it just looks beautiful. It's gonna be the last place to be done. I'm just hoping there's enough underlay. I don't even want to walk on it just in case I damage it or anything, but it just looks amazing. Like I can't believe we're going to have a kitchen in here that looks beautiful. Be careful. What do you think of the new floors? Look at his socks and his pants are coming down. Oh God, his pants are too big for him. Every single thing I put on him is too big for him. No, don't climb up the ladder. That's not for you. Your skirt and boards look so great. Just everything smells amazing. Just smells really clean. And then obviously this is our utility going into the last of the skirting boards in our family room. And I've measured up a couch as well from DFS, so I'm hoping that that will be, um, we can order that sooner rather than later. Guys, 
so welcome back to another day of renovations. We're gonna head to the house today and do a little bit of work. Paddy's mum and dad are helping as well and Noah's coming along so it's gonna be great fun. Our floors are in so we need to finish off our family room because that is gonna be Paddy's office, our family room. There's a lot of like, it's gonna be like a multifunctional room but we want to move his desk in pretty soon, uh, hook up the internet and everything so we need to get that room organized. So that is the plan today. Look, see daddy's coming now, he's coming back. Mine, 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 mine. No, you didn't, he's okay. So yeah, let's head to the house and get stuck in. It's chaotic here. Ooh. It's very chaotic today. What's up, Noah? What do you want? He doesn't know what. What do you want? Eagle Piggle. Is that what you want? What do you want? Eagle Piggle. Yeah, he wants Eagle Piggle on the TV. We're not going to be watching TV. We're going to our house. Yeah, we're going to our house. Noah does not watch TV. I can't get him to sit for any length of time. He's just very active playing with toys in the garden. But for some reason, he loves Eggo Piggles. This is the lamp that I parked an industrial diner bar. Just yeah. looks really, really nice. At the moment, this is what we're dealing with. Remember, we had this light up there. Obviously, that's been taken down. So a little before we start painting. What are you doing up there? I need uh, the, the step. And this is our color, color trend. Esker Ridge and I'm gonna start doing all the cutting in and the long tedious process of painting around the skirting and around the front or around the edges and up top which is always delightful. So guys we are painting in here today this is today's challenge. <clears throat> Everything's been taped up so I taped up all the sockets and Paddy's mom helped as well tape up all just the bits around the door and stuff. Our family room is all painted. I'm super happy with it. It looks really well. This wall here needs to kind of be retouched a little bit and you can kind of see some bumping on the wall to remove all the mask and tape then as well. And then I got a little lampshade in here because this whole room has been hoovered and cleaned and dusted. So it is ready for some soft furnishings. Um, like our couch, which we are ordering from Dumber Furniture. Okay, so here is my paint, and I need to just put down some painting sheets in here and get cracking. I'm very excited to see this room painted and finished, and it's just gonna look really well. Just another room done. Obviously, I need to sort out the light fixture, but it's just every little bit it helps. So the first coat of paint is all done. It's a little bit patchy, but it's just because it's the first coat of paint and it was on white. I reckon after the next coat, it should be looking well. I really like this color. However, I actually thought it was lighter than it is, but it looks really well with the tiles and it's just a laundry room. So, I mean, I'm not too fussed over, but it is a really nice color. And then it's the family room, so you can kind of see the contrast between the two. The family room is much more of like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a clay colour, has like a bit of grey to it, whereas this has a little bit more warmth in it. Um, but I do quite like it and I just wanted to keep everything really, really neutral. So we'll see when the second coat goes on if it looks better. Just did our attic <laughs> flooring. Um, it's just for storing, like I have all my Christmas stuff up here. And we just put this down to um, be able to store things basically. Um, obviously all around here hasn't been done and all back there hasn't been done. But when it's finished it'll be really great for like storage. So we're going to have boxes coordinated all kind of along this wall here. This kind of area here so that we can find things. So I'm bringing stuff up as 
we need to because if I fill stuff downstairs, it's just going to get really, really, really heavy. So I've started to fill boxes already, but I don't want them to be too heavy that we can't bring them up. So what, you can get like a Christmas box or something, put some of that stuff into it? Yeah, like it's it's really hot up here as well, obviously. Oh, you be sweating up here, yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> Found like things in storage that I haven't seen in a long time, like obviously like Christmas stuff that I owned and things like the household stuff like some things i'm going to keep some things i'm going to donate but i'll make those decisions as i kind of see them or maybe like when we're in the house i guess but it's fun just kind of going through old memories these are all the things that i'm going through this is um just a box full of like home stuff and there's a lot of candles in there these are obviously new bits that we bought from like rituals like home scents like fragrances and stuff and bits and pieces that we got like for the house obviously you would have seen some of these in a haul look at the dust on that like they all have to be like cleaned and everything it's very premature in buying some things but i said i may as well just get them while i can um yes yeah, so these are all going into the attic till i can sort through them i found a pair of high heels mm -hmm. that i obviously had stored away um so i think i will take them out of storage but yeah, you know like when you have things stored away and you don't know what you have stored and I've moved so many times that like, yeah, this is kind of what's left um, for me to sort through. Plus two more boxes in the other room that I need to sort through as well. And then I found a Halloween decoration as well. But I think I might respray this, oops, black because I think it look better black. Um, but it's really, really cool. Or even like chrome or something. But I don't like the copper on it. I think I got this in like, a, oh, I don't know where I got this. In TK Maxx maybe or something like that. But I think it'd be so cool. Halloween, I'll put it outside um, the front door. I think it'd be really cool. Or is it wood on the inside? No. Um, I just think it looks really, really cool. The fire guard, we need to put that away as well. Now that we have a fire and stuff. And then these are just a couple of other bits that we bought. And this is the other thing I have to go through. And these are just, that was a microwave. I don't know what the hell's in that. It's our microwave from home. So I'm not really sure what's in that. And there's tools and stuff and sand and adhesive for tiles and then mm. tools. So we need to really sort through all these bits and pieces and more Christmas decorations. How many Christmas decorations does one person need? So we just finished painting the first coat of the kitchen. Obviously there's a few bits that are like left. I'm back and do them later on, but it is looking pretty good. So I really like the color of this paint. And it is a matte washable. Um, it's just a really nice color. Light fixture up and the utility room is finished painting. Now all we need to do is put our kitchen in. And this room is done, I really like this. I got it in. B and Q. I just thought it was really nice. It's kind of like an industrial light. It's quite nice. So, yeah, this room's pretty much done. Just the skirting has to be finished, filled in, and Patty did the radiator. It looks really well. All our appliances are here. Microwave. I think this is the washing machine. Our dryers over there, and then our integrated dishwashers here. I'm so excited! And then Patty's desk is there as well. And um, we're just keeping this in our family room just for now. And that's also uh, his storage unit beside his desk. But I'm so excited! Everything's here. And then out here, we have the cooker. So everything's here, ready to go. The utility room is kind of finished we just need to clean up a few bits of the grouting and stuff um along the skirting but it's all done and dusted and then we'll just give like a little quick lick of paint just to the top of the skirting 
Um, yeah, but this room is ready to go. The appliances are ready to go. And then the kitchen is ready to be put in, which I'm so excited about because this is what we're looking at right now. And yeah, it's just a mess. Paddy's over there scraping things off the sockets. I don't know why you're bothering because we're putting new sockets in. I don't know. Um, fridge arrives uh, tomorrow. Fridge arrives tomorrow as well. The fridge is going behind here. And then our little larder is going here. And I just cannot wait for everything to be in. It's just going to be very exciting. Peeling off the tape of the walls of the kitchen. And our kitchen table is here to be assembled. The hall is so nice, we still need to like take all the tape off and then the stairs needs to be painted. Front door has been replaced, so we're not really too worried about it. And then the skirt needs to be painted. In here is just a kind of dumping ground at the moment, um, just for all the tools. This was to floor the attic and then there's just bits and pieces like from Noah um, that need to go up. All our painting, grouting, rollers, etc. <laughs> All in here, including a lamp that I bought from Easy Living as well. So there's lots of bits and pieces and our fireplace is getting so scuffed and messed with the dust. Um, it was so beautiful there a couple of weeks ago, but there's no point in cleaning it now. I mean, there's still going to be more dust, so I'll just be cleaning it up when we are getting ready to move in. I was like, you just have to hoo in a room and stuff like that, but you know, like the room's finished. On the wink, it's done. I know. We're getting new sockets in here as well. That is another day done and dusted painting in here. I'm going to have dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Excuse the state of me, but I will talk to all of you guys in my next home improvements renovation vlog. I love you guys and I'll chat very soon. Bye guys.